In this short video, we're going to discuss the difference between discrete variables and continuous variables. First off, let's talk about the definitions for both. So a discrete variable consists of separate, indivisible categories. Therefore, no values can exist between the two neighboring categories. So examples of discrete variables might include things like um, occupation. Uh, you can be a nurse, you can be a, a doctor, you can be a lawyer, you can be a, um, a landscaper. These are discrete variables. You can't be half nurse, half landscaper, right? You can't keep dividing it. Uh, gender, male, female, uh, college students in, in a certain class. So I can have 23 people in my class one day and 24 people in my class the next day, but I can't have 23.5 people um, of students in my class. So discrete is um, constant. You can't divide it, and it can't be um, broken down into smaller units. Versus a continuous variable, there's infinite number of possibilities, um, infinite number of possible values that can fall between any of these two observed values. So whereas with a discrete variable, it's the um, number of children that you have in, in a household. So I can have um, two kids in my household. I have two boys, two teenage boys. Um, but I can't have 2.5, so number of kids would be a more discrete variable. Now, average number of kids in a neighborhood, then that would be more continuous um, variable. Um, other examples could be um, height. So I am five foot zero inches, but I could be five foot one inches. I could be five foot um, one and a half inches. I could be um, five foot one and one quarter inch. So a continuous variable is you just kind of kind of keep putting it down to infinite number of possible values, um, and, and it keeps going. Uh, this is also um, so yeah height uh, weight. Um, any kind of averages, those are going to be more um, continuous variables. Age, right? So I can be 40 years old. I can be 40 years old in one day. I can be 40 years old one day in one hour. So the big difference between discrete is that you can't keep dividing it. it it's, it's whole. Think like whole numbers. And with continuous, you can keep dividing it. So it could be um, how warm is it outside. Well, the temperature is continuous variable because it could be um, 37 degrees outside. It could be 73. It could be 37 and a half degrees outside. So um, think like time, height, weight, temperature, um, averages. Those are all continuous variables. And with the discrete variable, it's more whole numbers or whole concepts like occupations or number of students um, observed in a class at, at a certain time, right? You can't have um, 22 0.5 students in a class. Now, on average, I can have 22.5 students in all my combined classes, but in that one particular class, you can't have a half a student sitting in a class.